Hello there! Thanks for watching. Today I'm going to talk about how to gain control under stress through the Alexander Technique perspective. One of the hardest aspects of living through a difficult situation is that we can feel like all of a sudden we have lost control over everything. And in this regard, the Alexander Technique has a similar approach to the Stoic philosophy, which points us within in order to find our oasis. And this brings me to tip number one. When you feel stressed and anxious, pause and notice that you are not your habit. Over-identification with habits can actually create a false sense of self. Some people tend to say, I'm anxious, for example, and clearly the person is not anxious, they have a habitual response of anxiety. And the difference between those two is huge because one is empowering you to create change in your life and the other one is creating a spiral of anxiety and stress into this situation and the next situation and the next situation. Therefore, the pausing part is very important because then you can acknowledge the difference between your reaction and the space that you have so that you can choose a different response. Tip number two. When you feel anxious, notice the space around you. We live in a very complex society where we are used to having to respond rapidly instead of valuing responding well. And for that, I believe that acknowledging the space that surrounds you has a huge impact on your sensory response. When you are stressed, there can be a closing in that is not helpful. But when you realize the space that's surrounding you, there can be new sensory information. For example, if I say right now, the current crisis, what do you notice in yourself? Now, I don't want you to label whatever you notice right or wrong. Exhale, notice your surroundings, and ask yourself, what is my state of being now? Tip number three, unify the whole of who we are. What I mean by this is that we often live in compartmentalized versions of ourselves. For example, at work, you might feel like you are your intellectual self. At the gym, you might feel like you are your physical self. At church, you might be very aware of your spiritual self. When you start to unify the whole of yourself, all the versions of yourself, there can be a huge gain from that, which is the ability to come into the present moment with a 360 awareness of who you are, which will allow you to notice your surroundings, notice the reactions that you're having to life, and then you may surprise yourself by being able to make a new choice. These are my tips for gaining control under stress. If you like this video, please share, like, and subscribe, and leave me some comments. Hope to see you next week. Bye. Thank you.